Good morning. Welcome to HIT 360, this day before Thanksgiving. We have an awesome workout ahead of us, and we're going to um, start burning off some of our pumpkin pie and whatever else you... I'm burning off the cheesecake I had last night. <laughs> I had to, it was my birthday earlier on Monday, and we uh, just celebrated last night with uh, my favorite treat, and um, I'm very motivated. So I know I have some good calories in me that need to be um, turned into energy. All right, uh, my name is Kelly and I am a personal trainer and fitness instructor at Home Athletic Club in Maple Valley, Washington. Um, and I am excited to be with you today. We're going to start off with a warm up. Uh, we're going to be using a chair for some of our movements today. A mat, is, will be, a mat will be nice to have as well, or just something soft if you're on a hard floor um, to kind of just give you a little cushion for your hands and arms and backside some of the time during this um, workout. This will be about an hour long workout, and we're going to just start with body weight squats. a good time to practice your core brace, push your hips back, chest should stay up. Each time you go down, you kind of feel like you're spreading the floor with your feet. So your knees and your hips and your feet are all working together. You're, you're not, there's not a lot of rolling of those knees. You want to keep them good and stable, and it starts right here. Almost there with these, and warmed up. Now I'm going to have you pause at the bottom right here, and then stand. We're going to pause, practice that core brace, and stand. If it helps you to reach out, kind of give you a counterweight, and then stand. Right, we're going to move to getting our upper body a little more warm. And have you hinge right at your waist, you're pushing your hips back, your back is flat. Legs are about 80% straight. And then you're going to reach for the floor, straighten those legs out, walk out to a plank, grab a push up. If you want to drop to your knees for that, you can. And then walk right back up, feeling that stretch through your entire posterior chain. Let's do that again. Hinge, reach for the floor, straighten your legs, plank. Push up and walk back up. Stretch, stretch, stretch. I need this today. This warm up is going to be key for me. <laughs> stretch, stretch, stretch. And again, now on this one, when you get down to that plank, I'm going to turn this, make sure that I stay in your frame well, but sure. When you get down to your plank, right here, bring your right foot forward, just as far as you can um, bring it forward next to your right hand, and then you're going to keep your left hand planted as you reach up, put your hand behind your head, and bring elbow to elbow. Turn and reach. We're using our thoracic spine, so just the center of your back is getting mobilized here in this twist and reach. All right, go ahead and plant that hand, that right hand again. Come back to your plank. Left leg comes forward, right hand stays planted. Reach up, 
and then hand behind head, elbow to elbow. Reach up. And keep elbow to elbow and reach. If you need to drop this knee, some people have struggled with keeping that up, that's just fine. A couple more of these thoracic spine twists, and then return to your plank and walk it back up. Roll up, reach up. We're going to come down to the floor and we're going to go into a shin box um, seat. So you're going to sit with both your feet, the, the base of your feet facing, or the, your soles facing the same wall. You're going to sit up nice and tall, keep your feet right where they are, and rotate your hips. Sit up nice and tall, and rotate. If you need to put your hands back for this, that's okay. We're opening up our hip cradles. All right, now sit up nice and tall, hands behind your head, and lower your chest to that knee. It's a knee that you actually can lower to. You can't, you're not gonna be able to lower to one of your knees. So the one your chest lines up with. Down and up. If you need to put your hands down first, that's okay. And rotate, and let's get the other side, down, and up, and down, and up. Feels so good, opening your hips, getting ready for work. All right, almost six minutes into our warm up, and we're going to get started on our workout. We have four rounds of work today. I didn't name them. I just thought about that. A lot of times I name our rounds. We're just one, two, three, and four today. You guys can come up with your own names. Drop them in the comments. See what you want to call them. All right. Um, just three movements per round, and they're all timed. This is um, high intensity interval, so 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off for some, 60 for some, 30 for some. I will let you know. And um, so you can easily uh, just keep up. I'll lead you along. All right, first movement, lower body here. We're doing um, lateral lunges or Cossack squats. Kind of depends on where your mobility takes you. This is a good one. If you want to use a chair, you can. We're going to come down nice and low and come up. And we're just alternating side to side. The way you can use your chair here to modify it just with a little bit of support to help you get a little bit lower. All right, 60 seconds is on the clock. Ready and go. And then go for pushing your hips back. Try and keep your foot here. Flat. If you need to come up on your toe a little bit, that's okay. Reaching out can help you have kind of a counterweight for your body so your hips can push back here. It was key for us to open our really mobilize the thoracic spine, open your hips before doing these. You might find with each set, you're able to get a little more depth, a little more range. Three, two, one. For our next movement, I'm not using our chair still. We're gonna do a push up with a plank jack at the top. This is again 60 seconds, so it's quite a few push-ups. Feel free to drop to your knees on the push-up um, if you need to. So it'll look like this. Push-up, jack. Try to really keep that core braced. 
If your hips come up a little bit, that's kind of expected, I'm throwing you way up here. So just wherever you can do keeping that core brace. Ready, set, 60 seconds starts right now. Push up, jack. Got this team. Remember, nothing wrong with dropping to your knees. Just keep moving. Three, two, one. Nice job. All right, next movement we will be using the chair or bench. Whatever you have. And okay. turn them in the frame. All right. You're going to be in this hollow hold sit, and you are doing this power crunch. Knee or feet are going on to each side plus in between. So middle, side, middle, side. One minute starts right now. Try to keep that core pulled in tight. You can modify this by having your hands back. Makes it a little bit easier. About 10 more seconds, team. Three, two, one. Woo. All right, that is round one. First set. We're going to get through it two more times. Now you know it's coming. Break to be a little shorter. Classic squats coming up in three. Two, one, and hit it. Pushing hips back, dropping them down as low as you can take it. Use your chair if you need to. Got 20 more seconds. Get a couple more here. Three, two, one. All right, push up with the plank jack. Five seconds, quick breaks here. Three, two, one, and go. Push up and jack. Got 
Another way to modify this is to step out one leg at a time if that jumping is not for you. Just like this. Using your chair, your bench as a guide for your legs. Line up your hips, center them with the chair, and then you're going to feel a little oblique crunch as you go side to side. One minute starts right here. So hands back, a little bit easier, still a great movement. Hands up, harder. You do what works for you. I'm doing some of both. Bring that core in, trying to lift your abs, make a tent. You want to really flatten them out. Reach out, keep your core braced, so chest stays up, even though you're hinging, I don't want you to come like this, keep that chest up. here. About 10 more seconds. Drop to your knees for your push-ups. Do what you have to do to get through these. I know 60 seconds is not short. All right, let's do it. Push-up and jack. Step that jack out. If jumping is not working for you today, seconds. 
and time. Whew. All right. Time for these pivot crunches. Square up your hips with your chair. Pushing those legs. Left, middle, right, middle, left, middle, right, middle. Ready, set, and go. Pull your core in to your spine. Belly button's pulling in to your spine. Even if you can't see it, try to feel it. Reset if you need to. Start feeling around in your back too much. Reset that, that uh, hollow hold. About 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and done. Woo! Round one is done. Whatever you want to call it. I didn't name it today. We're done with it. Round two. We're going to go straight into our chair here. Make sure your chair is in a good starting spot. If you want to put it against a wall, if you're concerned about it moving, not a bad idea. I'm going to put mine here on my mat. I brought my non slippery mat today. Bring prisoner, prisoner, step up. So hands go behind your head. Planting your foot firmly on the chair. You're gonna step into your heel, stand all the way up, and then come down. Working leg is this one. This calf should not be getting tired on your lower leg. All coming from hip and quad here. We're doing 40 seconds per side. So 40 seconds, 40 seconds, and we'll get a good break. Ready, set, and go. Now, if having your hands behind your head is not feeling good, if it's feeling like it's putting pressure in your back, have your hands right here. That's fine. You can even use them as momentum to stand up. This is just, for those who can, can add an element of challenge, really going to force your core um, to have to brace. Switch sides, no break. Pressure in your heels. That planted leg. And that is time. Good job. chair dips. Two ways to do this. You can have your hands here. Look at my hand placement. They're kind of uh, facing away um, from the spine body center or my fingertips can be facing down toward my feet. Whatever's more comfortable for you. You may even change it up part way through. 40 seconds starts. Right here you're just lowering your body and pressing it up. Make this easier. You have your legs underneath you here. A little less weight. So further out your feet are, more straight your legs are, the harder it is. Also the deeper 
You can kick this dip. Three, two, one. Nice job. All right, we're gonna do some side planks. And I'm gonna give you two options here. First is just a regular side plank. So you're gonna be here, you're dropping your hip and driving it. Second option, stack your feet around the edge of your chair or bench. You're gonna drop from here. We're gonna get uh, 40 seconds per side. Starting right here. Find a plank that works for you on the floor. If you're down here, you can modify right here with the foot in front like a kickstand. It's a great way to take a little bit of weight off. What matters is that you are engaging your oblique abdominals. Ready to switch, three, two, one. Turn it over. And other side right away. Almost there, three, two, one. Great job. All right, that, those three movements are round two. So we're going back to prisoner. That means your hands are back here, like you're under arrest. Prisoner squat, step ups, or prisoner step ups, not squatting. Prisoner step ups, 40 seconds per side. Starting at 10, I'm gonna grab a drink. Ready and go. About 10 more seconds here. Get ready to switch. And switch it, team. We have five seconds, three, two, one. Woo, my arms are getting tired on that. All right, 20 second break. Chair dips are coming up next. Three, two, one, go. This isn't about speed, it's about good form here. 
lowering with your triceps, elbows pushing behind your body. Check our time. Almost there. Three, two, and done. Side planks. If you have a weaker side, as far as your upper body goes, mine's my left. I like starting on that because everything can get a little more tired when you're doing these unilateral movements. So better to start on your weak side so when your whole body is more tired, your strong side helps you out. 40 seconds on the clock. Find your side plank and go. Drive the hip up. Try and keep your pelvis forward. So you're not too hinged in your middle. Three, two, one, turn it over. Second side right away. You can do this, keep hips forward, drop and drive. Ten seconds. Three, two, and done. Second set, round two. Done. We're gonna go for a third. Grab a quick drink. Step ups. Our next. Left up on top. Three, two, one, and go. You find that your knee wants to kind of cave in. As you can see, mine it does this when you step up or step down. Really focus on pressure in your heel and the outside of your foot. If you want to grip your big toe down, then that can kind of lift your arch. So you still have some stability, but you're not pronating. All right, switch it, team. Other side. It's a great exercise if you're a hiker, doing off season. Keep your those hiking, climbing muscles in good shape. We have a few hikes around here. That all right? That's time. I feel like you do that the whole time. Big step ups. All right. Chair dips. Last set of these. I know they burn. You don't have to do any more when these are done. <laughs> we can finish strong here on the chair dips. Ready, set, go.
Remember, you can modify even one leg. It takes a little bit of weight off, but not as much as both legs. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and done. All right, last set of these side planks. Side plank hip drives with your feet elevated if you can. Any of the ways that I've shown are effective though, isolating those obliques. Sometimes the weakest link is your shoulder and that's okay, just really focus. If you can't put your feet up, focus on really making your ones from the floor strong, powerful, your form really tight. Ready, set, and go. So pull that belly button in. Try to keep this shoulder pulled back. Drop and drive. Three, two, and switch. Chest out, belly button in. Ten seconds. Three, two, and done. We are halfway through this thing, team. Round two is done. We burned off at least, I don't know, one slice of pie. We're gonna say we did. I don't think I burned off my cheesecake yet, though. I have very good taste in food. It's really very rich. <laughs> All right. We're gonna start round three, first movement. Using our chair, we're doing single leg squats. So one leg is out, lowering your hips down into that chair, and then standing up. You can do this with a little kickstand, if that works better for you. Still mostly using single leg. 40 seconds per side starts right here. We're just staying on one side here, not switching. Reaching out will help you really push your hips back. Keep your core braced. Power through that planted heel to stand. Three, two, one, switch sides. You should be setting your seat, setting your butt into the seat. You're not dropping like this. No, no, you're in control here. You're not falling into the seat, you're setting your butt into it. Three, two, one. Nice work. All right, next movement. 
you've taken classes from me, you may have done it. Otherwise, it might be new to you. I'm going to tie my shoe a little tighter here. Um, we're doing a push-up variation. I'll show you also there will be a modification for this. Push-up variation where you're going to have one foot elevated up on your chair. One foot on the chair, one foot in the air. You're going to do a push-up. Then that elevated foot is going to come forward and you're going to stand. We're going to do 30 seconds on one side. Then we'll switch and do 30 seconds on the other side. I'm going to show you modifications here. First way to modify, have both feet on the chair. So you're still elevated here. You just have both feet down for your push-up, and you're still going to do that stand-up on one leg. Second way to modify, skip the chair all together. You can do a single leg elevated push-up from the floor or from your knee, then bring that leg forward and kneel up. Come back down, knee or toe, push up, drop your knee, leg forward. Still takes a lot of balance, core stability, hip mobility. And we're still sticking to one side for 30 seconds, second side for 30 seconds. All right, there's a big break. You should be ready. Make sure your, your um, chair is sort of good. to have a chair against the wall if you're not feeling like it's going to stay where you want it to. All right. Hopefully mine stays. I think it will. All right. Ready, set, and go. So both feet elevated. One is up in the air. Push up. That foot comes forward. Woo! And you stand. Get ready to switch after your next one. All right, switch sides here. shoulders, this that thoracic spine, hips, you want to keep your hips still, so knees should not be rocking, mine were rocking a little more than they should have, ten more seconds, reset if you need to, three, two, one, Woo, good work, Grab a quick drink. We're going back to single leg squats for our second set here. You came for a workout, you're getting a workout. Ready, set, and go. Single leg squats, setting your butt into that chair, pushing through heel to stand. Keep your core engaged. 
okay to reach out, but try not to let your whole body hinge like this. We don't want any of that. Keep that chest up. You need a kickstand, you can use it. Just have the foot out in front. Toes takes a little weight off of your lift. All right, switch sides, team, right here. No break. I think this year, through the holidays, even more than usual, is a, really a time to be grateful, you know, for the simple things. I've been really thinking about how three, two, one, you know, when some of the things that you take for granted, like going out to restaurants with friends, being with family, extended family, when some of that is not available to you, I think it, it's helpful to, rather than you know, having a woe is me, woe is us, woe are us attitude to really uh, shift your focus to the things we, you do have. At least that's what I've been trying to do, and it's really helped. Um, all right. Oh, this is our complicated one. Single leg elevated, push up to stand up. Ready, team? We'll talk more about gratitude after we can, uh, when we can talk. I can't talk through these, I don't think. Okay, ready, set, and go. Both feet up in the chair. One is on, one is off. Push up, leg forward, Woo stand up. Get that heel under you. That'll help stabilize you. Remember, you can modify this on the floor. Get ready to switch right here. One more. Actually, one more. Still. And that's time. Oh, sorry for the false alarm. Okay. Russian twist. You're next. this year is technology. I was talking to my dad a while back, it's been a couple months ago, and we were saying how if this pandemic had happened like you know, 30 years ago, uh, the options available to us Or we're just, you know, we wouldn't have had the opportunity for, okay, that's time team, well close, done. We wouldn't have the, um, you know, opportunity to have the um, video calling, you know, the, all the things we have on the internet 
having classes like this that we can do remotely. I mean, you know, there were a few exercise videos that have been made by professionals, but very limited. You certainly didn't know the person teaching and, uh, and they didn't know you. So I really am grateful for that. Grateful for, I mean, it would, that would have, and I mean, working from home, I don't know, I think people may have just ended up getting, the pandemic would have, pandemic, I mean, people would have just gotten sick a lot more, I guess, I don't really know, but so grateful. All right, third set here, single leg squats. Let's get it done. Ready, set, and go. 40 seconds per side. See if you can pick up your pace here, if you can do so without compromising your form. Make this kind of a power round. Also, I think a lot of people have been more grateful than usual for the great outdoors. I mean, with a lot of other three, two, and switch, um, you know, amusement, amusements that we're used to being less available, like movie theaters and even like, you know, shopping malls, that's not really my kind of amusement, but some, um, I do not like, I don't like malls much, but, but, uh, you know, having those things gone, it's been both, I have to say, sometimes I've been annoyed about the number of people on the trails, and I have to step back and go, this is good. People are finding value in real, real things. All right, that's time. Quick drink. We will hit our elevated feet, push up, stand up, last set of these, ready or not, let's do it, 30 seconds per side. Put your heel under you. Switch sides here. but whether they don't feel safe or they're just, you know, restricted by the um, conditions that are, that exist right now, they are having to teach remotely and I have been so, three, two, one, so grateful for my children's teachers, that the ones that have reached out whenever my kids are, any extra help or, or reached out 
just to say they're doing a good job. Which just happened a little bit. <laughs> but I had a little bit better more reaching out because uh, someone needed to, you know, had missed, was missing an assignment. But, but hey, we appreciate that because um, we are great at staying up. We're not helicopter parents. We're just trying to become actually a little bit more helicoptery. <laughs> All right, round four, final round coming up. This is our quick, speedy round. Only 30 seconds per movement. So one of them is unilateral, so we're looking at, um, we didn't take any breaks. Each round is only gonna take two minutes, so we'll have some breaks, but it'll go fast. We're looking at about 10, 12 minutes left of this workout, which is good, because we're just about at an hour, I think. Yes, we have about, we've been going for about 50 minutes. All right, first movement, soccer toe taps. So line up, right leg is up. I have sometimes people feel, if you haven't done these in a while, they feel kind of funny with um, their, what to do with their hands. It should feel, it should come naturally. We're gonna start soccer toe taps for 30 seconds. It's another good one if you wanna put your chair up to a wall. If you don't kick it around, I might kick my little. Second, we're gonna do, well, we'll just do that and then I'll show you, you'll want a little break. Ready, set, and you can step these. You don't, if jumping is not gonna work for you today. Okay, ready, set, 30 seconds, start right here. is a hard one that's only 30 seconds long right feet are elevated in my classes I call these face melters because you feel like your face is melting <laughs> all right by the end okay only 30 seconds here though both feet are elevated and you're doing I'm gonna you stabilize my chair here on my mat. Both feet are elevated, and you're doing a plank up and down, up and down, switching your leading arm with each one. You can also do these feet on the floor. If having them elevated is not for you, you really want a stable core, um, or you'll feel pressure in your low back. We don't want that. So nothing wrong with doing it with your feet on the floor. But if you can do it with feet elevated, go for it. All right. Ready, set, and go. Feet up. Core brace. Down and up. Switch your leading arm. this leg. It's just hanging out. Working leg, back of your heel. So that can Achilles connection right here. Just pushing down into the chair. And you're going to bridge up and down. Really working that hamstring and glute. 30 seconds per side right here. You can have your hands at your side if you prefer, or you can have them up in the air. 
for a little more stability challenge. And switch sides, pushing through the back of the, your heel if you find you're pushing your chair away from you. You need to push down more, down into the floor. That's going to ignite glute and hamstring. Three, two, one. Woo! First round done. All right, soccer toe taps. And quick break and move through these. A little faster on this next round. All right, ready, set, and go. Melters. Catch your breath real quick here. Find your plank, whether it's with your feet elevated or just back behind you. Make your chair is either against the wall or on a stable surface. 30 seconds starts right here. Down, down, up, up. We're going to finish this team. Get three rounds of everything today. Burn off that second piece of pie. Ready, set, and go. switch sides. Two, one. 
two, and go. Make sure you switch your leaning arm each time. Three, two, and done. Turn it over. Blue bridges. Thirty seconds per leg. And go. Switch sides. So close, team. Finish line is inside. Let's do it. Three, two, and done. Woo. Great job. Great job, team. Give yourself a big hand. Remember this workout is here, available um, on my Facebook page, even after this hour should be there. We also have a YouTube channel from Home Athletic Club that has a whole library of stuff that we've been adding to since the beginning of um, this pandemic. So tons of workouts available at no cost to you. Um, we're doing this just as a community service. We want people in this community, wherever you are, the nice thing about the internet, you could be anywhere, to be able to stay in shape. So good for your physical and mental health. All right, have a happy, happy Thanksgiving. Stretch right now. Um, good thing to do is do some of those walkouts, spine rotations, just like we did in the beginning. Um, finish with some loosening up. And uh, make, sure, make sure to comment, like, let me know that you guys were here, what you thought. And I will see you guys next week.